In this video, we're gonna cover how you can use the Azure Maps Visual in Power BI. We're gonna cover all the basic features that you can do with the Azure Maps Visual, and also some of the new upcoming features that were just announced from the March 2021 update. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So I can explain it better, let's go to this example that I prepared for you today. So what we have here is a very simple data set of some information about some cities in England, in the UK. So here I got this data from simplemaps.com and it pretty much just has information about cities, the latitude and longitude, the population, um, some basic information about these cities really. And in order to use the Azure Maps Visual, at the minimum, your data model needs to have at least the latitude and longitude for it to work. So let's go to the report view. So let's add the Azure Map Visual into our report. It's just a bit of disclaimer there. And let's try to add the latitude and longitude here. So now what it will do is it will show us the map of the UK because our data model generally has some points in the UK and you'll see that you already have points here but they won't have any labels so we'll put city in our legend to show uh, which points go to what. So now it gives you the cities and their place in the map itself. Now if you want to control the view of the bubbles here you also want to put the population on the size. This is what controls the size of the uh, the bubbles. Now it's not that easily visible here but if I zoom in a little bit in London you'll see that London has the biggest circle relative to everything else. Uh, because we have a lot of big population in that city. And that's how simple it is to create a map out of the Azure Max Visual. Now that we've created our map, uh, what kind of options do we have with this visual? So first of all, like you can see already that you can do pan, you can zoom in and out with your scroll bar. We have some options up here on the right hand side, so you can select the style, uh, how your map would look like. At the moment we are on grayscale, but you can change it to, for example, grayscale dark or some satellite. Um, it depends on what you want. We also have some more controls on the right hand side here, which allows you to uh, do some more changes uh, in terms of how you want to view your maps. So for example, you, you know the zoom already, so we can do that. You can also adjust the pitch. So for example, you want to maybe adjust to show your map sideways and I will show you why this is important later when we're showing a uh, different view than the bubbles. And you can also rotate the map if you so need using these controls. If we switch our view from the map to the format pane, we will see that we'll have lots of options here aside from the usual things like data colors or size settings. So if I expand on the map settings here, you have the ability to uh, adjust to auto zoom. So this auto zoom is, is actually, we'll keep this on because it allows the map to focus on just the areas where you have data on. So at the moment, as you see at the beginning, it zoomed into the UK because we have our data in the UK. We have the world wrap, which essentially, um, so that you, uh, if your user keeps scrolling on the left or right, it will just infinitely um, wrap around itself. The style picker and the navigation controls, the ones that you can see in the front here, you can disable those if you wanted to. And you can change the map style here as well. So in case you don't want to give your users that ability, but you want to set it as a default, uh, this is how you would do it. From the two options here, you also have the ability to toggle between bubble and bar chart. So the, by default, we're using bubbles. So at the moment, we show the points by bubbles and then we show the population for each of these areas by the size of the bubbles itself. But if we toggle the bar chart instead of the bubble, you'll see that the pitch changes and instead of showing you the size of the bubble, it shows you the height of the bar itself. So 
So if we just keep zooming in here, you'll see that the size of London is quite big. Um, again, because of the population that we have got there in London. Each of the options, both bar chart and bubble chart, provides a lot of tools for you to customize how you view the map, the you know how, how you view your different data points. So I suggest you play around with it and see what works best for you. With the Azure Maps Visual, you can also use layers to further improve the way that you visualize your map. You can use the reference layer where you can overlay a GeoJSON file on your map. So it's useful if you want to show things like custom boundaries for your maps, if you need them. With the traffic layer, you can also show incidents or traffic controls. So if there are any roadworks or if there are any traffic within the area, you can also use that here. You can use the tile layer if you want to add a custom tile layer to your map. It's especially useful if you want to add custom graphics on top of your already existing maps. And on top of all of these customization features that we talked about today, they are also adding as part of the March 2021 update some new data selection controls uh, as part of the Azure Maps Visual. So from that update, you'll have the ability to select multiple data points in your maps. So the ability to select data points based on a circle or maybe a rectangle. You can also select points based on how far it is for a drive. And they also provide the ability for you to draw your custom polygon selection. So you are able to select multiple points and move them around. So you can pick and choose which data points you want to select. And that's really it for this video. I hope it showed you how easy it is to start using the Azure Maps visual in your Power BI reports. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.